That is the gravedigger taking quite a tumble there during his live show this weekend at Raymond James Stadium. Now the man behind the wheel is not only the driver, he's also the creator of the most famous monster truck in the business. They're really well known in the business. Driver Dennis Anderson ended up in the hospital after that show. The Nas Adam Weiner has an update now on his condition. Also what fans want him to know. For fans of monster trucks, Gravedigger is legendary. Yes! But sometimes, even legends take a fall. Oh, no! Saturday, fans at Raymond James Stadium quickly realized this was no ordinary crash. It did take them a few minutes to get him out. You could tell that something had happened that wasn't supposed to happen. Jessica Williams was there with her husband and their three-year-old, Stephen Jr. I was excited as well, mostly just to see his excitement right. because he loves it so much. The show delivered, but after many fans were worried about Anderson. Once they got him out, they kind of did a little drive-by and you, he... He waved and he wasn't on the stretcher, which was good. Monster Jam officials say Dennis Anderson was hospitalized. The extent of his injuries not yet clear, but Anderson's son, Adam, posted online saying his dad will pull through. We always do something we've never done before. In an interview with ABC Action News the day before the event, Anderson admitted that freestyle event that ends the show is still unpredictable. I always have and I always will. I get these nervous little butterflies before every show. Back home, Gravedigger fan Steven Jr. is recreating his favorite moments. We just told him that Gravedigger had an accident. He bumped his head and he has a boo-boo yep. and he needs to go see the doctor and the doctors are going to make sure he's okay. Gravedigger is scheduled to perform at the next Monster Jam in Tampa in less than three weeks, though Anderson was not scheduled to drive. I'm Adam Weiner for the Now Tampa Bay.